Hi, my name is Galen Hare, and I'm a partner here at Insurance Claim HQ, powered by Hare Shannara Trial Attorneys. After a loss, you're used to an adjuster coming out to your house, but a lot of people have started to get correspondence saying that the insurance company would be sending an engineer. Why are they doing this? What does this mean? Unfortunately, around the time of Hurricane Katrina, and maybe even a little later after Hurricane Sandy, an entire industry of engineers began to pop up that help insurance companies deny, underpay, or minimize claims. Now, engineers are amazing people, and it's a noble profession. They build bridges, they lay out cities, they make things work. But there are some engineers, unfortunately, that do not uphold these great ideals, and insurance companies have started to utilize them to find ways to deny claims. One of the most common ways they deny claims is alleging soil shifting, meaning literally the house shifted under you, and as a result, it's not covered. They also will get up on roofs and look at other members of a house, and they will say that that damage is not related to a storm because the wind wasn't high enough or something like that. This is unfortunate, and it's unfortunate for a few reasons. First of all, I never cease to be disappointed when I depose these engineers and I ask them, how many times was your engagement in a claim actually used to pay the claim or find coverage? In other words, when were you hired and it actually helped get a claim paid? A lot of them can't think of a single example. I also will ask them what scientific testing they did. Engineers like physics and they like science. And again, I'm always disappointed that usually there's no scientific testing and often no mathematical formulas that are used to deny that claim. If you see an engineer coming out, you should be very concerned that the carrier is not getting ready to treat you fairly, they're getting ready to treat you unfairly. And I don't even think that necessarily this is an intentional decision that's being made. It's just a way that the industry has shifted. If an engineer is coming out, first of all, you should definitely consider getting professional help, but at a minimum, as long as your state allows it, I would suggest videoing and audio recording all engineer inspections. In fact, there's at least one insurance company I know of that most, um, one engineer company that I know of, where most of the insurance companies that use them will not allow them to be videoed. That's concerning. You should ask yourself why an engineer does not want to be on video doing their own inspection. If you have any questions about this or really anything for your claim, give us a call at Insurance Claim HQ. We'd love to help.